near stone. Oh my god, how oh, many? Traveler, right on cue. <laughs> hey, Catherine, got any new commissions for us today? I don't know. Um, it, also, it... how come you look so happy to see us? What She's always that? happy. I went to the shrine to draw a fortune slip earlier. The shrine maiden told me that it is the season for an unexpected reunion. Right, and for the fortune teller who is unable to tell fortunes anymore, it's basically a pink slip for the fortune teller. In other words, you're fired. Catherine, drawing fortune slips at the shrine? Uh, is it just Paimon, or is that the most unusual thing ever? Define normal, and who the hell are you to debate normal? Wait, no, that's not the unusual part. We're in Lila. You went to Inazuma and back in a single day? So what? <laughs> Even I have a private life, you know. Even I do things on the side. Okay, so when you say unexpected reunion, you mean running into us, right? Who can say? But the anticipation of knowing that an unexpected reunion is due is making me happy to see everyone I cross paths with today. It makes me feel good because then I get to see everyone again. Because reasons. Because stuff. Don't know why. Fair enough. Even though we see each other pretty much every day. Wait, are you saying? Oh, Paimon gets it. Well, let's just hope the shrine meeting was right. Fingers crossed we find him. Who? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Did I say something I shouldn't have? You both seem a little down. Nah, it's fine. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, wait. Anyway, back to business. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. This one is from a miner. It seems to be related to investigating the chasm. Uh-huh. Really? Does this mean the chasm is not sealed off anymore? Hmm. I will leave the requester to fill you in on all the relevant details. His name is Yue Hui, and he should be at the chasm right now. Oh, Good. Oh, it starts. All right then. Thanks, Catherine. We'll head there right away. Oh god, it starts. Oh god, the cat, jazz, and whatever it is. It's quest start. Very oh god. Well. Add Astra. Shut S. up. Do that some other time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. As a matter of fact, yes! Uncle Dai is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. He's hoping the Adventurer's Guild can spare some manpower. Yeah, because they're all, everybody's short on something and you're gonna... It, because the Adventurer's Guild is like a centralized job placement center. What is it we have to do exactly? Uh, labor. I believe you'll be looking for workers. Manual labor. Looking for people? Awesome! We're good at that! Yeah, we looked for you, and like two seconds later, that's how good we are. I have no reason to doubt your abilities. And... If you have no reason, I wonder who does. I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Dai. Talk to this person. I'm already spiritually broken and dead enough as it is. Now, off with you! <laughs> and there's a shiny thing right next to you. There's a shiny thing right next to you. I am indeed. Yes, you are. Ah, now then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Yes! Who else could we possibly be? Huh? How could you tell? <laughs> By the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. What if we had, like, different clothes? What if somebody else wore clothes like these? Would you say they were experienced as well for the other people who weren't experienced? Right again! You're pretty perceptive! Oh, he looked at us once and like, Well, you're the people I need, let's go! <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Dai can see what you're made of from a long way off. 
What if, uh, even that sh- uh, uh, screw it. How can you even tell? Seriously. Alright, my yeah, assistant should be arriving soon, so uh, let's, let's just wait here a moment. Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very difficult matter. <laughs> Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. This is a very tough situation, cliche. Hmm. So there is someone else. Do you think we're not up to the job? Do you think we're not? You think we're not good enough, cliche? It just occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to say the least. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to cover all contingencies. Mm -hmm. sure Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in ore appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Uh, did we not just rebuild a jade chamber with like three different materials? And you're like, nah, you're still not good enough. I'm still gonna put you down. Besides, this guy's the best in his field. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. Didn't we just do a quest where we talked to somebody who knew the value of rocks? But you're like, nah, you're not good enough, even if you did a similar quest related to it. I'd go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tevat that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. I trust his word, so I won't question him at all. You're a fool if you think you found Tevat's number one rock expert. <laughs> oh? And why might that be? Because sometimes you can be mistaken and you can't just judge a book by its cover all the time. Because Tavette's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. You must be talking about me. Perfect, I was planning to ask him a few questions. Ha ha! Didn't expect that. Come on, let's jump in and listen to the storyteller. Let's head over. There he is, sitting at a restaurant. Out in the, out in the open. In our last tale, Rex Lapis. In before whatever you say next. Jung Lee, there you are. Yes, there he is. Cliche. Oh. Yes. Oh. You shouldn't have come up behind me. I was about to hear this person talk about my my history, but then you came up and like. Ugh, not this again. Here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. I... we only heard one, so unless there's more tales, the Iron Tongue, whoever his name was, said before you, that's a whole other story for another day. Oh, no, no! We're here for you! Uh, do you have time? <laughs> we're here for you, cliché! Ah, uh, something I'm rarely short of. I don't... I did that. <laughs> Uh, we've accepted a commission, you're somehow related, let's move on, we've got to do another rock thing, you know rocks, blah blah blah, the end. We need someone who understands geology and ore! Well, then you've gone to the right person who is a geoarchon and who knows nothing about rocks, especially the entirety of the landscape of Uiwe. Considering the fact that he's rearranged said landscape in the Guyung Stone Forest, hmm. Someone who understands geology and ore. Gee! Who could it be? Is he not thinking of himself or he actually knows somebody else? Ugh. Take a look around. Is there anyone in Tibet more qualified? Well, I wonder if he actually might try to answer that question. The requester claims to have enlisted Tibet's number one rock expert. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. Uh, I don't take his claim at all because he hasn't explained his claim. And did I see another mosquito? Dear God, I'm sick and tired of mosquitoes. I gotta swat every single one of them. Oh, no, no. It's just Uncle Dad doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, what do you expect? Pirate just wants to enlighten him. When you're dealing with someone who talks about a about rocks and is probably as tough as a rock. There's not much you can do. <laughs> I see. Well then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. Well then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you, Cliché. Really? But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. 
Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. You're the Geo Archon! You're the god of rocks! You, you throw meteorites from the outer space or wherever sky as part of your ultimate, how can you not know about rocks? Well, I don't know everything. I've lived for thousands of years. I could have taken on many different careers and specialities, but I will say I'm still humble. Who better? Honestly. Ugh. Stop being so modest, young Lee. Now, now that I think about it, if Zhang Li was modest, if Zhang Li is modest, which of the GL icons is proud? God damn it, I dropped my controller. If he's modest, who's proud? Well, we got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. <laughs> we got him. Let's get somebody to prove him wrong, cliche. Uh, there's only one GL icon. I know, but it's like, which other archon? Uh, is proud. That that's the question I had for now. I want to collect the yellow donut behind him. You are not gonna let me collect the yellow donut behind him. I'll okay, see you. We're back. Yes, we're back. Cliche. Oh, and uh, this must be the friend you spoke of. Yep, Paimon doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. How do you know? Um. How does Uncle Dai even know Zhang Li? And why should he care? And how do you know it is Zhang Li in the first place? So why should he be used as an example? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll Ooh. see. I really wonder what your idea of some claim to experience is, considering the fact you're over a few thousand years old! You're old! It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Right. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know Zhang Li or how old Zhang Li is, but the fact, well, this guy, I know. It sounds more like you know the guy more than you know the guy's experience, so it's more like a... It's more like you can vouch for the other person, cliche. Uh, is this the place? Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Assistant? Not an expert? Didn't you just say you knew an expert? Or is that like... Like undertalk or something? Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Huh? Uh... Hmm, do they know each other? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. Oh, now you get it? You didn't even know who Zhang Li was until you heard his name? So you don't really know the face, but you know the name. Okay. Uh, I'm sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Mmm, where has he met him? It's almost as if, uh... <laughs> it's almost as if, uh, there's another mystery behind this story. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? Huh? I... I wouldn't know where to start. It really? You downplayed us and now you're like, Oh, well, never mind. I'm not sure where to begin with this. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses, uh, uh, never mind. Zhang Li won't lose. Because the developers wouldn't allow it. A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk! Exactly. I'm just saying it like I see it. <laughs> which is, incidentally, the only skill I have worth talking about. Yeah, your skill is talking, or your skill is talking about talking, or your skill is talking about skill, which is about talking. I don't know. I feel like I have one of those moments. So, again, you're going to have to test your say off, so go. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. 
Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. You don't even have that much experience, do you? Well, I'm just uh, here because my un Uncle Dai called me here. It's like, why, why does Uncle Dai have a lot of faith in this one person? Is it not even a question of, like, how much experience there there is out there? Or he just th thinks that the first person you see is good enough, go with it. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged to meet here. Because you held a rock. You didn't show any experience. Huh? How could you forget something like that? Oh yeah, I also forgot that about the part about the forgetting part. I don't know, like... Why is he in Liyue again, now that that's brought up? I saw him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, poring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with him. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So, do you have a poor memory? I think everybody has a poor memory at this point. He doesn't remember. I'm pretty sure the miner doesn't remember. I'm pretty sure Zhang Li is having a hard time remembering everything because he's trying to be modest. So it's like, I can't remember, so I might as well play it cool. Cliché. Not exactly. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, I can most certainly lend a hand. If I'm gonna be Brock for a day, I'll do it. Mr. Zhang Li, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior? with a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Ah, a keen eye! Obsidian? He didn't even say what it was, he just said it's another nation. It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high-quality crystal ore inside. But what is it? Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. Yeah, well, what is it? Like, you can talk good about everything and have all sorts of, like, words to make it sound good, but you can't say what it is. What good is talking good about it if you don't have it anything to talk about? Yeah. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. It's just different rock formations. How is that a treasure? Such a detailed description. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. Say, you're not trying to hoodwink us, are you? After all, we haven't even seen what's inside yet. It's almost like, uh, I'm thinking of RuneScape, where it's like a crystal geo where you break it open and you find stuff inside. I don't know, is that sort of a similar idea here? Everything he said is true. Really? Then... Why didn't you say anything earlier? Most crystals are born in high temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course, which is why crystals with water deposits are so sought after. Moreover, this particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. Well, if Zhang Li says so, it must be true. Now you're turning into Uncle Dai. You took someone else's word for it, and now you're the one who's going to fall for it. But given how uh, Zhang Li has explained it, I don't know. It seems like everybody just believes Zhang Li at this point. I've yet to encounter anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhang Li. How did you know exactly what lay within? I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Says the person who wishes to remain modest, but wish, but at some point flaunts their experience in front of somebody else's uh, person. Of course not. I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you will accept my friendship. 
Wow, it doesn't take much to be friends with somebody else if you know rocks. Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. I guess we're gonna do the chasm after all. Wow, this mine is huge! Yes. This is where the incident occurred. What incident I had? Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. How is that an incident? For all we know, they just took a break and decided to go around and not bother with anything. I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Mmm, okay. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. So you think they were captured and taken hostage for something? Hmm. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? Eh, this big a mine? Even I couldn't explore everything just yet. Like, second or third time, I came back and even I'm... even I'm perplexed. Underground, overground... We left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? Uh, they unlocked an admin status and command block from, like, Minecraft and somehow dug below the bedrock? I don't know, Minecraft joke. We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Because we, we should not uh, assume anything cliché. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. Okay. So strange! How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Uh, we'll have to something? find out. Mm. Let's hmm. Over here! What's this? A pile of shirts, some trousers... Huh. A few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. One... Two, three, four... Huh, that seems right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. Huh, ten shirts and ten pairs of trans trousers. Were there other people, aside from the four people that went missing? Is that the idea here? Uh, ew, they stripped. Okay. These must be spares, right? Look, Uncle Dai's clothes are identical! The four of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs and some soap lying around. Oh, and some tool belts! They returned back to caveman status. Actually, no, not really. Items for washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies! Because they themselves were taken. Hmm. Correct. And maybe they didn't need them, maybe they forgot them. Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. But the other stuff they didn't leave with, which makes me wonder why. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. What if... They were not the ones to take the tools, but the people who connect them did, and they were put in forced labor, I assume? Question mark, question mark? Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? Slavery. That's the only idea I can have. Like, whoever was taken, or maybe were they taken? I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong, but who knows. One. They were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. 
Or two. They were forced to leave and had no time to think about their supplies. Again, it goes right back to the question, who forced them to leave? Oh! You think someone kidnapped them? It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. Well, whoever kidnapped them made them take their tools but not their other stuff, which means that they are forced to go mining for something, and the person who kidnapped them is looking for something. Huh. But that brings another question. What were they looking for? If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Okay. Uh, look for more clues. Look for my favorite items. Uh. What are you Kunjun. Relapis. Kunjun, what do you have there? Relapis. Oh, right on time. Right on time, cliche. Did you find anything? Did you find anything cliche? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. How do you know there's clues in there? For all, it, it's Corlapis. How does it point to anything? Or, what does it have to do with the disappearance? Exactly. Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. Let's find out, cliche. Yeah, well, I'm looking at what you're saying, but that's just <sighs> a theory. Okay. What? So the core lapis can show where they went? They all went together, but where were the people who kidnapped them? <clears throat> so the core lapis has a, a sort of playback? Maybe? Uh, even I'm not sure. Looks like he's concentrating really hard. What's he up to? Using the core lapis as though it was just a playback device. Can that really happen? I see... Four... men... Following someone out of the mine. It... It looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? Probably being forced into labor, or maybe that's a leader of the group. Who knows? I'm... not sure. Neither am I. Also... Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I I would appreciate it if what I can perceive the memories of Orr. Hmm. Oh my god, it's child. Is it? Considering the fact that this wasn't too long ago and child wouldn't have would have still been as old as he was at back then. So <laughs> But he didn't say child like C H I L D E, like Tartalgia. This one is like a minor in a, a minor, M I N O R. <laughs> huh? Perceive. So there's no conjecture at work. You mean you can put your hand on a rock and boom, it just happens? I don't think it boomed, but it still did just happen. I've always sensed that ore contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. I really feel like we're having an, a Frozen 2 moment. Like, there was a song that's, that said, Water Has Memory, but I don't know if the developers for a Hoyoverse are thinking, Gee, what if we did the same thing for rocks? Do rocks have memory? Huh. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! Or whatever just happened in the vicinity of the rock. No, rocks don't see everything. It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Core Lapis and Crystal Memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone Seeing. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. Even, uh, even 
Shang Li doesn't even know something like this. He might know a lot more, but the stone scene part, even at, I guess even he doesn't know that. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. I'm glad I can be of assistance, cliche. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. Right, all four of them. Up there, with those treasure hunters and treasure hoarders. Which means they went past them, and now we gotta fight them. This will take us north, away from the mine. This will take us a few minutes to deal with those guys. North! Another clue for Uncle Dad! <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Are, Are you, you one, one of the, the workers, workers here? Who? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please, find them if you can. We didn't mention it, but the fact you brought it up makes me wonder. I... I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. We didn't ask, but I guess you wanted to bring it up anyway, so I'll talk about it. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break, just to catch my breath. Mm hmm. What can you tell us about the other four? I ended up falling asleep in the shelter inside. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them, and suddenly, they'd vanished. How did they vanish? Did they poof like light, or did they just walk away and never to be heard from again? Maybe... Maybe I'm next. Maybe. They're coming for me now. And they're gonna be eat me! Oh my god! So the men that were out working disappeared, with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Wow! Falling asleep on the job saved his life. Perhaps an accident occurred on sight. Or maybe they just walked on their own, who knows. Ugh, what a scary thought. Also, what the hell accident could have happened that would made them leave and leave no traces of themselves behind? An on-site accident. We should note that down too. No. Like, what's their idea of an accident? Screw it. And this kid is why you should always sleep on your job. My god. <laughs> oh god. Time to report back to Uncle Dad. I'm going to have to choose who I believe more. The Rock or the Assistant. You're back. How are the... We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes. Yet everyday items are still in their place. They suggest that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced to? But... Who would kidnap miners? I feel like, uh... <laughs> I f it's like a play on word. Um, I'll leave that one up to Patrick to fill in the blanks. Who oh, indeed. Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. And you're not gonna punch the guy? Uh, child kidnapping children. <laughs> Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on sight. Hmm. I don't know if this is like making a message where it's like, maybe you should take a break from your job and actually go to sleep. Is this a message to the people of Japan who like, have death from overwork? Or just anybody else in general? Who knows? Maybe you should take a break from now on. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Uh-huh. Hey, are you gonna punish him? Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with him? I guess you're not gonna punish him after all, huh? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his, uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. Uh, Jun Kun is not standing here with us, so I don't know what you, uh, mean by Jun Kun here. Huh. A child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Hmm. Would it be Tartagia? I wonder. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. But why? Where did they go? 
We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. Okay. You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch them. So, what's our job now? You're just gonna take over now while we did the detective stuff? Fine, go. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. <sighs> You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. You really gotta plan your search parties a little bit better. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Inn tomorrow evening. Agreed. All right. Me and my men will get going. That's it? We don't actually find the miners? So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlement. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Jun Kun? Why didn't you... Why didn't you notice that before? Huh? Oh, yeah! Where's Kunjun? Paimon Betsy's still in... Hmm. You know there? Where you are. Even though this is in China. What do you expect? Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's get going. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Why are you looking for the stone despite your colleagues and co-workers and mine? Actually, it's not your colleagues and co-workers. Despite the fact that four different miners are missing at this mine. Dragonfall? Never heard of it. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have? I... I don't know. You don't know or you don't want to say? I... I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very... absent lately. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. Yeah, like why you went to Li Wei in the first place. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious. As if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Does it have anything to do with our investigation? Oh, Paimon knows that feeling. When you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. Is this one of those I accidentally left the stove on moments? It almost feels like that, didn't you? <sighs> I don't even know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. Huh, maybe it does have something to do with the investigation after all. And maybe if we find the Dragonfall ore, are we gonna find the other miners as well? It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Uh huh, so where can we find the Dragonfall? Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhengli. You're too kind. You're too kind, cliché. Think nothing of it. Don't thank me, cliché. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Elemental traces? Great! Let's have a look! Ugh, <laughs> Oh god, we're making progress. Progress. Wait, there are tracks here. Uh, are you sure that's not a ladder, or are you talking about like footprints? These must have been left by the miners. Oh, footprints. Also, I can't see the footprints. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass. It's. Let us make our way, cliche. Oh, there's the footprints. I saw them for the last second. Mm. Hey, footprints! It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. Uh -huh. If 
we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went. If we follow X, we should be able to see Y cliche. I got it. Now I'll say obvious statement. You should is inquire obvious. with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Have you seen things? Hmm? Hey there! Uh, seen any miners? Hmm. It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. So we are on the right track. Yeah! That's them! Four or five days ago. It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. Were they trying to slow themselves down on purpose so we'd catch up to them? Huh. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Wording! Wording! Huh. This child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. Why was she serious and everybody else... Well, I know everybody else expressionless, but why was she serious? And they took this road? Yes. They followed it straight from here. Let's go after them! Let's go after them, Cliche. More footprints! <gasps> There's a person over there! Help! Please save me! What? Is that one of the people we're looking for? Oh! Rest team first! Ask questions later! <laughs> Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. You need to travel a lot more safer than that. My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Mm-hmm. And what are you doing out here? Huh? Are you sure you're not a miner? Why would you ask that question? A miner? Yeah, we're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I... I think I saw those people. Where'd they go? When was it? Where? Really? Yes. I set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people. A few men and a child. I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. Oh god, hey Miner, want some free candy? Oh god. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. And we play hero for a day again. According to the scholar, the miners were heading for Nantianmun. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? It was the four men and the child as as you as you even saw in that that poor lapis, so why would you even have any doubts at this point? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. <sighs> okay. Uh, what? Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Hmm. Aha! Paimon nearly forgot- It looks promising. I'll do my best. Are we gonna find something different this time? I wonder. What are you gonna find? Is it gonna be a trap or something? We're gonna find something different. <sighs> Is the bush in the way? But I didn't see a child this time, so. Huh. It's the same group, all right. They followed this road. But there's no child in it. So, this one's different. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your st- I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. 
But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. Why is he not mentioning the the child in front of them? I didn't see it. Why is he withholding that fact? It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a while. It feels like, like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Except the person who's giving us the clues is withholding something. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Agreed. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. Again, why didn't he mention the child not leading them? That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geo-Bishop Hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nan Tianmen the day before yesterday. Great! No time to lose! And there's no time to lose! Let's go! Cliché. I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Clever thinking! Classic shock. Hey! Oh. Over here on the ground! Is this one of the missing people? Hmm. There's a basket lying here too. This must be one of the miners. Hey! Hello? Can you hear us? He's right there. How could he not hear you? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. Should we wake him up? Um, yes. Oh, I can... I can still dig. I really wonder who's forcing you to dig. Oh, sounds like he's whispering something. Sound like, like he's struggling, tricking confident, love how his name is just minor. It seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Something's not right. He's still under the influence, but he just uh, got exhausted on the way over to wherever he was supposed to go. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and. Yar. Hmm. How is he? He. He. he he's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. How did he get exhausted? Probably just from walking all the way. Paimon heard him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? It's certainly a possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Are these ore fragments? The Dragonfall, perhaps? Hmm. It's the Dragonfall, isn't it? Oh, you can actually see the ore fragments and where he picked them up. I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. But where was the mine? How he came to be here is what we need to understand. So he was kidnapped and then abandoned here. Technically, we brought him here, but he just fell from exhaustion on the way over from taking the ore out. But if they didn't need him, why bring him all the way out here? Again, exhaustion. And also, he... Yeah, I don't know if I can explain. Uh, they don't care much about the miners that are under influence, so they didn't... They didn't bother their average work culture. <laughs> Unless something happened. Something that led him to fall behind. Ugh. You expect all the answers to be left out there? That's kind of on you. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. I have something for you, cliché. You should take a look at this cliché. What is it? Oh, is it a present? Something for us? Uh, As I mentioned, before I met Uncle Dai, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. Something tells me... He must have been one of them. Like, he was also in a trance, and he had this a similar 
sort of thing to the other miners. So my guess is he might know how these miners came under the influence. I was so happy when Uncle Di enlisted you to help. I would never have managed to track down these clues by myself. I gotta get a second humidifier. Dear God. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. Interesting how you, also like one of the other miners who are collecting crystals that contain memories, but it's also interesting that if these guys are also collecting crystals which might contain memories, what kind of memory are they going to find in a specific ore or crystal are these people going to find as well? It's beautiful. Oh, and the But of course, take it. Just like that. And this one is for Mr. Zhongli. Really? What is Zhongli going to do with that? Uh I don't know what to do with it, but I'll just accept it anyways. Huh? I is something wrong? Not to your liking? Or maybe he does recognize the crystal and it reminds him of something, and it kind of answers another question on top of that. On the contrary, I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. Or that. But, thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Yeah, well, here's here's the thing in a crime-solving experience. It's probably best not to accept gifts, because it just might influence the outcome of a case. Oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Perhaps there are more memories to uncover. Something tells me he just might be in on it. You sure like rocks, huh, Kunji? Ores are the crystals of the Earth. The sediment of time and get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. Rest yeah, easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Yeah, but he's is he gonna run off? He's gonna run off. Oh. However, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. You're suspicious of him, aren't you? Huh? What's with the seriousness all of a sudden? Traveler. Does Dragonfall mean anything to you? Aside from being used in a forgery? You mean the ore that Kunjun's Sus. looking for? What's so special about that? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. And why would Jun Kunjun want something like that in the first place? Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. When the fighting ceased, these geological remnants were miraculously preserved. So these crystals were around during a great war. So my guess is it's part of another history that's going to be used. And he's going to look at something like this. And is it going to be another Sal Flore moment where he has to uncover something and throw it in the ocean? But this time we're looking for Dragonfall, which might uncover something else about Shang Li. Maybe. <sighs> and yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between. Relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. But until now, there's one person who's looking for more. Why is it then that a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the Earth? Are we... is it... <sighs> I feel like we're dealing with another character who wants to unlock something from Zhongli by using the crystals as an excuse to do it. Yeah! If he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined! Yeah, but whatever's left over can still be used as memories, so... Weird. Paimon doesn't get it. He's looking for memories! 
Jun-kun is looking for something on, on uh, Zhang Li. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But for someone like Mr. Kunjun, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself, it's practically unheard of. He wants to find a memory from one of the Dragonfall, but why? Ulterior motives? <gasps> is he a villain? Maybe. A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. And possibly keep an eye on, eye on him so he doesn't backstab everybody. Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, Sooner or later, the tide will reveal the lie of the land. Mm. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be f Oops. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have- We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a- <laughs> Some deep spot, Miss Chaos Rock moved. That was easy. Kunjun, we need to get going. No problem. I'm done here. Any results, Mr. Kunjun? There are many beautiful rocks here, but nothing out of the ordinary. I couldn't find any clues. So in other words, I didn't go through here, insert button. Then again, the memories of Ore can shift with the passage of time and the changing of the environment. So you lived a different experience aside from the, the one we were looking for? Probably. Hmm, difficult to say. I feel that Ore memories tend to be from the recent past. Mm-hmm, except for the ones that you didn't find? So there's never any ancient memories? Rocks endure, but as eons pass, their memories are erased. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion or thought. So it's possible that the ore like Dragonfall might not have the memory from the past, but only the recent ones? But then again, unless there was a certain emotion in it, then maybe... That makes sense. It is the same for people. Indeed. Let's get going. And I can't look for the church just in this one area. Wow, such an immense tree. And it's got ore sticking out of it. Is that ore? I can't tell. And there's so many mysterious looking crystals up- This ancient tree. Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take- All right then. Kunjun, can you see anything worth investigating? Well, there is this stone tablet here. Yes, there is. Obvious statement is obvious. Doesn't seem very interesting. Paimon's gonna look over there. Huh. It's worth a try, surely. Let me see. Oh. Uh. Is he having a hard time getting memories out of the stone? <gasps> Ooh, what is he finding? This is... What is it? Hey, what's, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past. Nothing to worry about. Not... <sighs> Not yet. Is this the stone that caused the other miners to act that way? <sighs> Whatever. Paimon's going to invest- If you don't try, you won't know. Anyway, you'll be able to get a good look at our surroundings from up there. <sighs> oh. Um, you, you th When has Paimon ever come up with a bad idea, hmm? I'm pretty sure I could remember Paimon coming up with bad ideas. And I'm pretty sure right, we don't talk about it anymore. Although I can't find an ex think of an example right away. I'm pretty sure there are some bad ideas I will come across in the near future. Wait a minute. Paimon can fly! Uh, Alright, Paimon will go. You wait here. Paimon will... You just realized that now? All of you. Come here. All of you, come here, cliche. Huh? Lee's voice came from... Quick, let's go see. Maybe... Hmm. This has been newly dug. It would appear our answer is up ahead. Hmm. Hmm. What is the answer? Is that a voice 
coming from the tunnel? <gasps> Someone else go- Compose yourselves. I will lead us in. Hmm. There is an unusual presence emanating from inside the tunnel. Prepare yourselves and tread lightly. Interesting Jun Kun responded to that with suspicion, but what the hell? We're gonna do a dungeon. We're gonna do a dungeon. Or just a tunnel. Huh? Huh? What's this? Are here. <clears throat> well, what are they digging for? <clears throat> I'm afraid that this whole tunnel is the fruit of their strenuous labor. <clears throat> huh? That gate? Has it been there all along? <clears throat> digging a tunnel to this ancient seal. Had they not been discovered, they would undoubtedly persevere until the gate. So Things just picked up a couple of hundred notches. <laughs>